evening. Now, a group of technology students from Sussex are heading off to Australia to take part in one of the most prestigious and difficult races for solar-powered cars anywhere in the world. The students from Arding Lai College are the first European school to take part in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. In all, 150 pupils have uh, helped create the car over the last three years, and they claim they've got a top speed of 82 kilometres an hour, but it is a massive challenge, 3,000 miles from Darwin to Adelaide, with bushfires, kangaroos and snakes to contend with. Easy for you to say. On the way, Mark Sanders reports. The reception was warm, even if the weather was little drab for this solar car. Pupils at Arding Lai College in West Sussex designed and built this vehicle themselves. There's now just the small matter of racing it across Australia. Three, two, one, go! And this is what they're up against. Vehicles from around the world are taking part in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, a biennial race for solar-powered electric cars. I'm hoping to go max speed 50 miles an hour, probably go along at 30 miles an hour quite comfortably. Um, it's electric, uh, so both of the wheels at the back have a hub motor in, and we're running on a lithium-ion polymer um, battery. So as science homework goes, this is pretty something. The, yeah, I think this is probably the best science homework you could probably get. <laughs> the pupils will set off from Darwin, then travel 3,000 kilometres across the heart of Australia, through the outback, all the way south to Adelaide. Arding Lai College is the only school in Europe to compete in the race. It's taken three years of hard graft to get to this stage. It's really good to have driven something that we built ourselves because when we started there was nothing and then to build it every week it just started off nothing then it was just a piece of metal then it was like a bigger piece of metal and now it's a car. So. And now you're sat inside and you're going to be a driver, how do you feel? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. It's really such a good, such a good experience and I'm really grateful. <laughs> competition will be fierce. Some of the other teams have had multi-million pound funding. Arding Lai got into six figures with sponsors. The team sets off for Australia next month. They certainly don't lack enthusiastic supporters. Mark Sanders, BBC South East Today, Arding Lai. Good luck to you.